Hi crew members, welcome back to another video y'all. Today, we are going to be creating a fish mac, a big mac fish sandwich. Y'all wanted me to redo the uh, chicken sandwich to make my own version of the big mac chicken sandwich and I just didn't want to do that. Um, so I'm going to do this today. So y'all, what I'm doing is making like a mac sauce tartar sauce combo. So yeah, I know it sounds a little weird, but that's what I'm doing. So I, I use Duke's mayonnaise as a base. Um, I roughly about six, seven tablespoons. I don't know. It's really just like kind of an eyeball, and I know what I want to do. And so the dill relish that I would normally use in the tartar sauce, I use the sweet relish, and um, I use mustard and ketchup. Those are all the makings that you see right now of a mac sauce. And then I went in with a little bit of this uh, salt-free onion and herb seasoning from Mrs. Dash, now called Dash. That's going to give us some of that... Uh, uh, herby flavor the onion and the garlic is gonna help give it more of a savory taste and then I went into it with some of this uh, dill weed that's just really to just give it that you know more that tartar along and especially um, when combined with this lemon so I'm zesting this lemon and I'm also gonna give uh, put the juice in it this is uh, one large lemon and this is uh, like I said the dill and the lemon is gonna um, contribute to that tartar sauce taste and usually in a mac sauce you would put vinegar but since I use lemon that's gonna take the place of the vinegar because it's acidic and then also um, I just went in with some capers for a little bit of saltiness and like a little bit of like a umami flavor. And um, I just combined everything. I did end up adding a little bit more relish and a little bit more ketchup, but the sauce came out really good and um, I was pleasantly surprised. And so, yeah, that's gonna be our sauce. Here, I just have some seasoned flour that I'm gonna uh, make a beer batter out of. I just used what I had, which was a dos equis, but you can use any kind of beer that you want. Um, I'm just gonna uh, add until I get like a semi thick consistency, not really thick. It's gonna be just not watery. I don't know really, just yeah. And so I'm gonna be using cod y'all and I just cut it up into squares, you know, semi squares, kind of mimic a, like a fish fillet or a McDonald's uh, fish patty. So um, once I did that, I took the fish and I dipped it in my uh, wet batter and then I'm gonna go into a breadcrumb mixture, which is a mixture of breadcrumbs, panko breadcrumbs and some seasonings and um that's that's what i'm going to be using to coat on top of the wet batter which is going to give me a really crispy crunchy result um <clears throat> i use the wet hand dry hand method that just helps everything to stay cleaner and to keep from all that uh the batter from clumping all up on your hands even if you're using gloves nobody wants all of that so once I have them uh, coated, I let them sit for a couple minutes. Then I'm going in some 375 degree oil. I'm going to let them fry for at least five minutes. Their cod is cod, so it's thick, it's juicy. It won't dry out if you let it fry for five minutes. Sometimes you can push it closer to ten if you like. But this is the color that I want, and uh, yeah, it came out really good. Yeah, these are my buns that I toasted, and then I just assemble. You know, it's it's bread. Uh, mac sauce, lettuce, and the fish. That's what you got, y'all. It was absolutely delicious. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. We're going to catch you in the muck. Oh. I swear, the more I talk, the more this piece of Honey. sandwich in my hand gets. Big and bigger, day by day. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm AJ. This is Danny. We are hashtag. 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 Hashtag, hashtag. hashtag the cannon. CCTV. Alright, crew members, welcome back to the video, another mother video. We are back with another mother on Danielle. Tell them what we're eating today. Y'all, today we have some homemade fish Big Macs made by my wonderful husband and yeah. some french fries. Yeah, so that's what we're gonna be eating on today, y'all. Everybody was requesting that I recreate the chicken Big Mac and I was not inclined to do so. I just didn't want it, but I always love me a good fish salmon, so I said, let me see what happened when I make a little fish and I put a little somewhat of a mac sauce on it and an extra piece of bread in the middle. <laughs> so here we go. Voila. <laughs> this is our creation. So if this is your very first time on our channel, we ask that you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. After you subscribe, make sure you turn on your notification bell. Set your notifications to all so you can notify every single time the grinner draws them. 
Before that app. Oh, yeah. And remember, remember, hit that like button. Y'all remember the hashtag. Grow, baby, grow. We on the road to 150,000 subscribers. I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for being a part of that number. And big thanks to these five people on the screen. We want to thank you for having your notification bells on. And we thank you for being one of the first people to engage with us as we post. We really do appreciate that. And much love. Shout out to you guys. We're going to go ahead and pray. We're going to get this food. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the food that we're about to receive. Lord, we ask you to be nourished into our bodies and bless us so less fortunate. All these things we ask you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Water. Water. Yes, I love me some water. Water. Y'all, I ain't even go. Daddy up. It's up there. All right, y'all, so uh, we got our uh, Max. Do you like some ketchup, sir? Yeah, we got a fish Max. We got our fries. <laughs> I got a little bit of that extra sauce on the side. I tried to make like a, a Big Mac sauce, but I tried to make it closer mm -hmm. to a tartar sauce. I put some capers in there, mm -hmm. a little bit of onion, herb seasoning, add a little lemon juice instead of vinegar. You know, but I try to still keep it around the Big Mac style, so just to, you know, I'm trying to see, do I want the smaller one? Maybe I'll go big or go home, you know what I'm saying? I'm taking little baby right here. <laughs> this is the big boy, fish mm -hmm. man. Oh, oh, no. Uh -uh. You done lost a soldier. Another soldier! A true bomb soldier! Mm. Mm -hmm. This is cod. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I feel like cutting the hair. You want me to get a knife? No, that's fine. You just gotta go for it. Mm mm. Uh, I should have got a small one. That's delicious. I'm gorgeous. Now pull my sleeves up. <laughs> mm. Mm. That sounds good. I wanted to make sure I made this as close to a Big Mac with fish as possible mm -hmm. and not like a fish filet with an extra piece of bread. So that's why I Mm. This is great. Oh my gracious. It's something about it. It's so good. You know. This was way better than that other one. <laughs> I'm about to say. <laughs> even though this is homemade, something tells me that I would enjoy that fish filet uh, patties on that Big Mac mm -hmm. a lot more than that chicken. For sure. Mm. Y'all, it was winter here today. Mm -hmm. I'm joking. <laughs> it was shitty though. <laughs> It's cold outside right now. Mm -mm. It's cold. See, it was 50 something degrees earlier. Mm -hmm. But with the sun out, it didn't feel that bad. You know, you get the wind blow a little bit on you in the car, you the window down, you be like, okay. But man, as soon as that sun started going away, <laughs> bruh, it got cold quick. Cause when we had came out early, I think we was being a little eager. We mm. had on hoodies. <laughs> right. I was getting a little All right, hot. Right. Now when I took my sweatshirt off, I was like, mm, I might could have kept it on. Mm -hmm. But it still wasn't that bad. I went to the barbershop and came out. Mm -hmm. I said, mm. <laughs> 
Oh, look at this. Little brick. Look at that. Say what? <laughs> delicious. Delicious. <laughs> so delicious. I'm gonna take the bread in a minute. Mm. Mm -hmm. Today we're talking about TV and Boy. movie. Uh huh. Right. You're fine. TV and movie pet peeves. Okay. So. Whether, you know, this really bothers you, doesn't really bother you as much, or it kind of bothers you. Um, the first one I have is when there are two people that everyone knows are going to end up together, but it takes them forever to kiss. Yes, that bothers me. I don't like rom-coms. Oh, I, I like, okay, let's see this. Not rom-coms. These romantic movies in general. Mm -hmm. And rom coms hit and miss. <laughs> if it's if it's got like Adam Sandler or a comedic actor in it. Mm -hmm. Like Fifty First State's good. Uh what's the name? The Real Missy or what's that movie called? With the silly girl. Uh, what is it? With the big ears and crazy. It's something, miss. Did I, uh, something. Yeah, but see, that was a man mm. If they really silly got good comedic actors, fine. Mm. But, you know, some movies I just, I might can stomach, but I'm not a big fan of romantic movies. So if it's taking too long and they doing too much gushy gushy mm. and everybody keep. Also, I see you across the room. That shit aggravates me. In the office, Pam and Homeboy got on my nerves. Oh, yeah, that was bad. Oh, my God. Every time they show them, I'm like, I'm, I'm sick of it. I am sick of it. Mm. When are we going to do this? <laughs> right. I'm glad they, they went here. Girl, it took them forever. I, I it, probably does. it did. If you watching in real time, it was sick. Be like, stop. <laughs> <laughs> what is y'all waiting on? Can you imagine? Week after week. You know what's coming on TV? Mm-hmm. Because it's different when you watch it back to back. Right. Episodes. Imagine when it was coming on TV. That took Shit. how many seasons? We were at least at three, right? Three or four. It's sick. And then... He gonna sit here and go and date somebody else. Then she over here hot. Yeah. Well, when you had your chance for romance, ho, you sitting over here, I don't know, no. Oh, I think we're better friends. Okay, well. I don't know what he's talking about anyway. Shut up. Especially the first couple of seasons, she was Baby, frumpy. I'm just trying to figure out why everybody wanted Pam. She was frumpy. <laughs> <laughs> why is everybody so obsessed with her? I don't know. I'm sorry, I don't, I don't get it. I don't know why. I don't know. Mm -mm. The next one is when a season or the end of a movie ends on a cliffhanger. Um, I'm kind of in the middle. Cliffhangers aren't high. bad. As long as it don't like mess up the whole like. If I feel some sense of resolution, I'm fine. Mm -hmm. But if it's like, what? Yeah, I don't like that. As long as I feel some sense of, like, uh, I don't have, mm -hmm. that was good. And I feel like they, things resolved. Like, finish the movie and then give me, like, oh, but it's not over. Mm -hmm. Not leave me feeling like well what happened like right. well, what you know what i'm saying i don't like that yeah i realized we recently watched a movie that kind of bothered me though Which one? with the cliffhanger was it the one we watched with sonya and tony on the phone oh the um what's, what's it the, called the blink blink, blink twice, twice. Mm -hmm. did it end right i felt like i just needed a little bit more clarity maybe mm -hmm. I think I missed something. I think that's the problem. Right. I think toward in that last end scene mm -hmm. before he uh he got his memory back or whatever. I think I missed something. 
that was important. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I swear, the more I talk, the more this piece of Honey. sandwich in my hand gets. Big and bigger day by day. I don't know. More and more heavy. I got one more bite in me. <laughs> when they kill off a really good character. That bothers me. <laughs> No. We needed you. <laughs> but I feel like nowadays, I've watched so many movies to where <laughs> they spare nobody. Like, mm-hmm. anybody can get it. Nowadays, I almost, when I watch a movie, especially if it's like real, like one of those movies where it's a lot of violence or something like that, mm-hmm. I think I almost be expecting anybody to die because I've seen a lot of movies where they're not sparing him. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. They're like, um, when they replace a character with a different actor and think we won't notice. Yeah, that bothers me too. Yes, and it bothers me even more when the new actor stinks at yeah. the role. That's really what. Hey, when we was watching Interview with a Vampire, I was hot at first. And when they- <laughs> <laughs> I was so mad. I didn't even want to watch it. <laughs> when the new season came on <laughs> and they had replaced the girl and I'm like wait a damn minute <laughs> wait a damn that is not her and I'm like <sighs> cause she didn't remotely look like this girl at all <laughs> no and, uh, and the sad part about it was I think I had become invested in the other girl as an actress you know what I'm saying yes. because her character was so who it was it's mm-hmm. a lot it's a it's a, it's a you know like those the those characters that have a lot of development and then they have a lot of depth to them and you know and then she's kind of like a personality was kind of big mm-hmm. and I saw the other girl at the start of the season I said what the f-? <laughs> but they didn't even tell us that was one situation where I was pleasantly surprised and I think I ended up liking the new actress better because mm-hmm. she did real well in the role so I was like but I don't like that switch up no. and then don't say shit no girl. like just Okay, here we go. I actually was mad when Don Cheeto replaced Terrence Howard as uh, <laughs> Rhodey in uh, Iron Man. Oh, yeah. He's just going to pop up. I'm, I'm saying, sad. I'm confused. I said, what? <laughs> just, <laughs> I was like, Terrence Howard being replaced by <laughs> Don Cheeto. I was <laughs> like, this is crazy. But that happens. Right. Um... When the show gets canceled way too soon, I know that blows you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I needed more that's, Ray than Dion. That's, I, you, look, you took the words out of my mouth. I needed so much more. I wasn't thinking about Dion in general, but mm-hmm. I was about to say Netflix. That's why I don't try to try my <laughs> best not to get too invested in Netflix shows. Mm-hmm. Because Netflix has a lot of original series. And Netflix, out of all these streaming services that have original series, they are the most cutthroat. They will cut a show, and it don't matter if it's uh, if it's good or not. Mm-hmm. If it don't matter if the people liked it or not, right. they they will cut a show mm-hmm. when they like. I was like, man, Raising oh, Dion just hit my. <clears throat> we watched that. You know the superhero show we watched, uh, Jupiter's um, Jupiter something. You remember? Where it was like, uh, they were all like, um, they were, it was like s- s- superheroes and they were like patterned after like, uh, like, um, Greek gods. Oh, yeah. I remember that. There that was, was only one season of one that. One season only. and they canceled it. Mm-hmm. And it was good. We said there was Mad. So, man. All right. Here's my last one. When they scream cuss words in every other sentence. When they what? Scream cuss words. Scream? Scream. You know I have issues. Like scream? Yeah, like, ah. Oh, scream. <laughs> Who's that? I guess a, a, a character. It depends. If it's cringy. <laughs> I don't like unnecessary cussing, so. I Me and Dale was just talking about this the other day, but it was in a different aspect, but what was we talking about? We was talking about somebody on TikTok. Oh, yeah. We was talking about how it's just a coincidence. 
she was at, she was talking about a drink that somebody had made, and she was like, "It looked good," but I couldn't watch the video because every other word she like cussing and stuff. And I was I was like, "I already know who you're talking about." <laughs> I hadn't even seen the video. I didn't even know it was a drink, but I know this content creator. I was like, "I already know who you're talking about." And I described it. She was like, "Yeah." I was like, "I can't watch none of her videos because she do that." And it's not that the cussing bothers me. Hell, I cuss, but mm-hmm. and I've watched other creators who cuss probably more than her. Right. But it just um. It's something about it when you intentionally doing this. For, for, I don't think cussing necessarily in general makes something more funny. Mm-hmm. Like, I feel like sometimes, just depending on how the cuss word is used, if it's natural, then it just, you know what I'm saying? But I don't like when people just intentionally cuss right. to make, to try to dress something up and it sounds stupid and it make you kind of cringe. Mm-hmm. Like, like, if I was to get up here and start cussing every other word, even though y'all know I cuss, I don't cuss in that way. Mm-hmm. So if I got up here, even if you're not bothered, it don't bother you. You'd be like, "What the hell?" Right. Because it looks stupid. You know, I'm like, "Yeah, that's that's." Ah. I told that shit. Like it's just dumb, and then it's just like, I don't like that. So if it just comes across real cringy, like I, I can't even watch it. Almost like mm-hmm. that's my problem, and I don't mean to say. Like all female comedians, but I feel like that used to really be my problem. Like watching a lot of female stand up, especially with comedic actors, actresses that I see in movies and stuff like that. And like I know you cuss, but it's something about feeling like you gotta cuss more because you on stage. Mm-hmm. Like I, I don't know, it's just something about it that just like mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. like, and then don't take away from male male comedians either because there are some who like they cuss like that like but it's more like if you hear like i don't know if i hear you cussing like more just because you on stage it's it's cringy mm-hmm. i hate it like especially I just, when it doesn't feel natural no. like there are some people that literally talk like that like that's how they talk but this certain person he is talking about i i can just feel it i know this is not how you talk on the regular mm-hmm. This right. is not what you're doing, but to go back to that um, cussing in movies and stuff, because I cuss too, <laughs> beyond popular belief. But um, I done, uh, that Snoop movie, now it was good, but it was too much. It was- it's too much. Excuse me, it's too much. Those are the type of movies where it's. It is. Uh, it was making me it's cringe. It's made for. It's like that. We gonna cuss. Because <laughs> the children is cussing. Everybody. The parents is cussing. Everybody. Snoop now, cussing I, every other yes, word. Yes. Now, like I said, I did enjoy the movie. But that's like but bad Santa, though. Yes. Like, <laughs> and you just gotta know that's a market for that type of movie. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? You, you gotta expect that when you go to see a movie like mm-hmm. that. But I was just like, I could have done with the list. Less would have been better for me. <laughs> okay. But well, I'm gonna watch a Sam Jackson movie. <laughs> and we know he Not gonna cuss. Sam Jackson. <laughs> and he gonna cuss you out, man. Mm-mm. He cussing somebody out, man. But anyway, y'all. Uh, uh-uh, put that fry down. Yes, push it. Ugh. I'm tucker. Not a tuck. Um. Here we go. Thank y'all for joining us today. We really do appreciate it. If you haven't already, please make sure you like this video. Drop a comment down below. Let us know what you're thinking. Remember to share the video. Share everybody because Shane is cancer. Care about us. Care about us, y'all. We love you. We mean it. And we're going to catch you on the next video. Shout out to the crew. Shout out to you. Bum bum.